How to Make Cake Pops by Ramona J. Ford Cake pops are the newest trend in the portable sweets industry. Cake pops are cake and icing balls on a stick coated in a candy shell with decorations. Cupcakeries are selling these cute individual pops at a very profitable price. Kids love them and even adults find them fun and entertaining. Cake pops are not the easiest treat to make. Several time-consuming steps are required to complete a single batch. This guide will walk a beginner level cook through the process of making a batch of cake pops. The audience is intended for young adult to adult. Some experience in baking is a recommendation but not required. Part 1. Bake Cake To make cake pops, you first need to bake a cake. Any store-bought cake mix will work well. You should follow the instructions on the cake mix. One cake mix typically yields 15 to 20 cake balls. Once the cake has been baked and cooled, you may move on to part two, making cake balls. Step one, gather your ingredients and supplies. Cake mix, three eggs, vegetable oil, water, mixing bowl, measuring cup, blender slash mixer, baking pan, oven mitt, and towel. Step two, preheat oven to 350 degrees. Step three, add cake mix to mixing bowl. Step four, add three eggs to the mixing bowl. Tip, allow eggs to warm to room temperature. Step five, add one third of a cup vegetable oil to mixing bowl. Step six, add one cup water to mixing bowl. Step seven, beat cake mix, eggs, oil, and water using a hand mixer or blender until all lumps are gone. Step eight, pour cake batter into cake pan. Step nine, place cake pan with batter in preheated oven. Step 10. Let cake cook for 25 to 35 minutes, depending on your oven and directions on cake mix box. Remove cake when the center is fully cooked. Tip. Insert a toothpick in the center to check if batter is cooked completely. Part 2. Mixing cake balls. This step is fun because you get to be messy. However, achieving the perfect ratio of cake to icing is the key to keeping the finished cake balls on the stick. If your cake pops don't stay on the stick, then they are cake balls. Practice makes perfect, so it may take you several batches to figure out the perfect balance. Step 1. Gather your ingredients and supplies. Baked cake, tub of icing, pan, spatula, mixing bowl. Step two, dump baked cake into mixing bowl. Step three, using your hands, crumble cake in mixing bowl. Tip, make sure to wash your hands first. Step four, using spatula, Add three quarters of the tub of icing to the crumbled cake in the mixing bowl. Step five, using spatula, stir crumbled cake and icing well. Step six, using your hands, pick up small amount of cake icing mixture. Step seven, using your hands, Roll cake slash icing mixture into a ball about the size of a ping pong ball and place ball onto pan. Repeat until all of cake slash icing mixture has been used. Step eight, 
Place pan of cake slash icing balls into refrigerator for at least 30 minutes to harden balls. Part 3. Adding the pop. This step is where the physics comes into play. Inserting the sticks, dipping the cake pops in candy coating, adding decorations and wrappers. Step 1. Gather your ingredients and supplies. Large floral foam block, white vanilla candy melts, food coloring, extra long sucker sticks, sprinkles, shortening, pop wrappers, ceramic bowl, and chilled cake balls. Step 2. Add a small amount of the candy melts to the ceramic bowl, about 10 pieces. Step 3. Microwave candy in 30 second intervals, stirring until melted. Step 4. For pink colored candy, add one drop of red food coloring to the melted candy. Stir to distribute color. Step 5. Dip one end of a sucker stick into melted candy. Step 6. Push the candy coated end of the sucker stick into a cake slash icing ball. Push stick three quarters of the way through the cake slash icing ball. Place cake slash icing ball with stick back onto pan. Step seven. Repeat step six until all of the cake slash icing balls have sticks. Wash ceramic bowl when finished. Step 8. Place pan with balls and sticks back in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes to set the sticks into the cake slash icing balls. Step 9. Using an extra sucker stick, punch holes in the floral foam block about 2 inches apart. You will place your dipped cake pops in these holes in a later step. Step 10. Add the rest of the candy melts to the clean ceramic bowl. Step 11. Microwave candy melts in ceramic bowl in 30 second intervals until completely melted. Step 12. Add one tablespoon of shortening to melted candy coating to thin the candy coating. Step 13. Microwave melted candy coating and shortening in ceramic bowl for 30 seconds. Stir well. Step 14. As needed, continue to add 1 half teaspoon of shortening. Microwave. Stir well. Melted candy coating should be the consistency of melted ice cream. Not too thick, but not too runny. Step 15. For pink colored candy coating, add 3 to 4 drops of red food coloring to the melted candy coating. Step 16. Stir the food coloring into the melted candy coating. Step 17. 1. Holding the stick, carefully dip the cake slash icing ball into the melted candy coating. 2 and 3, twisting the cake pop around until it is 4, completely coated. Be extra careful that the cake pop does not fall off the stick. Step 18. Once cake pop is coated completely, hold cake pop over the bowl to allow any drips to fall into bowl. Step 19. Immediately place the cake pop into hole on the floral foam block. Sprinkle on the candy decorations. The candy sprinkles will stick into the candy coating before it hardens. Step 20. Repeat step 19 with each cake pop. Allow decorated cake pops to harden for at least 30 minutes. Step 21. 1. Insert cake pop into plastic wrapper. 2. Gather wrapper and tie around sucker stick. 3. 
Tie ribbon in a bow. Step 22. Repeat step 21 with the remaining cake pops. Display or package your cake pops in a creative manner. Wrap the floral foam block in a gift wrap for a great display idea. Enjoy!